And just a really, really quick um, shout out. I did get a YouTube banner made by Issa Almatari. I'm really, really sorry if I butchered that. Um, I will leave his YouTube channel right here. You guys can check that out. I'll also leave a link in the down bar below for you guys. And I'll leave his Twitter right here. Go give him a follow and subscribe to his channel. Right. So today I have a birthday slash Mac haul. I went to Mac on my birthday and I got my makeup done by an artist there for my birthday dinner. If you hear noise, it's traffic outside, sorry. Um, and so I, when you get your makeup done at MAC, you do have to buy like $50 worth of product, which is easy because their stuff is expensive. So I ended up buying a palette that she used and I will show it to you guys along with two other things that I bought. I was well over the $50 like spending minimum, I guess. So the palette I got is a MAC Illustrated by Rebecca Moses palette. This is in the color brown. Do that just so I can cover up the mirror. It does have a brush. So starting right here is a Melba powder blush. On the other side for here is Ravishing Lipstick and Myth. And then the lightest eyeshadow is orb next to that is all that glitters and then below orb is smoke sepia and showstopper is below all that glitters so this palette um alone would have been sufficient enough for me to get my makeup done um this was over 50 dollars but completely worth it as you do get four eyeshadows, two lipsticks, and a blush. And the blush is a really, really nice pinky, peachy color. Um, and the lipsticks are, there are two lipsticks. It's a light pink color and a darker corally. So that is a palette that is limited edition, I believe. The Illustrated, yeah, the Illustrated Collection. Um, there are three different palettes, I believe. So this is in the color brown. I do believe there's a purple one and maybe one other one. Um, when I went to MAC, I said that I was going out to dinner for my birthday and I wanted just like nothing too dramatic and really, really dark um, as I was wearing like a black and white strapless dress. So I wanted something that was kind of neutral, bronzy, brown, smoky eye as I do have hazel eyes. So, um, the end result was amazing. Everything was flawless. Um, the makeup lasted from 3.30 in the afternoon till 1 in the morning when I went to take it off. And, like, nothing budged. Nothing. I was really worried that the humidity was going to start and, like, have it melt off my face. Nothing moved. I was so happy. And it was so worth, like, the stuff that I purchased. So I will definitely go and get my makeup done again at MAC if I ever need to. The artist was really, really nice. She was like gentle, really, really had a light hand with everything. Um, she was asking if I liked it and, you know, if I wanted this or that. So I really, really got to pick like everything as I went along. She gave me a couple choices that would go with the look and then I chose the one I liked. So it was just a really, really good experience personally. It was my first time having my makeup done professionally. I did have my makeup done for prom professionally, but I don't know, that was like, I don't know, I don't really count that. Um, but anyways, this was like a full face of like makeup, like not an everyday makeup look as it was a little bit dramatic, but with, you know, with lashes and everything. Um, so I will show you the two other items that I got. So as I said, I did have fake lashes and you did have to buy them if they were going to use them. and. That was like my first time wearing fake lashes, so I wasn't really sure how I would do with them. So in the end, I said yes to the fake lashes. They were $19, which was fine. Um, so I wanted the most natural looking pair that wasn't gonna be like over the top, like, oh my goodness, she has fake lashes on. Just something that would blend into my lashes. So I ended up getting the 33, the number 33 pair. Uh, 
Um, she did have to cut um, like a little piece because they were too long. They don't normally fit your eye. You always pretty much have to cut them, which is fine. And they ended up with a little end, like a a little end piece that I can actually use on the outer corner just to kind of like wing it out a bit, which is cool. She said I can get about eight to ten uses out of these as long as I am careful with them and I take them off carefully and just place them back in the case here, which I plan to do. So since the palette had a blush and two lipstick colors, I was like, well, I'm not going to purchase the blush or lipstick that she used because I already had a blush and a lipstick in the palette, which was perfect. Like, it's like, it's got everything I needed, so I didn't feel I needed to purchase those two things. So I did go ahead and purchase the lip gloss she used. Now for the lipstick, she gave me two options. She gave me the color Brave, which is a pinky nude color, like pinky peachy nude color, as well as a darker coral color but because I was going out to dinner and I was going to be in Niagara Falls um, I wanted easy maintenance so I wanted something that wasn't going to be too bold and I wouldn't worry like while I was eating if it was going to smudge or anything and always having to retouch it up with a pencil and everything so um, she used the Brave lipstick which is a nude color and I didn't purchase that because I just didn't feel I needed to as I had two lipsticks in the palette so then she went on to put a corally peachy color lip gloss on, which when she showed it to me in the tube, I was like, oh my goodness, like what is that? I didn't say anything, but I was just like sitting there thinking like, oh my goodness, like how is this going to look? But in the end, when I turned and looked in the mirror, oh my goodness, like it just kind of fit the look. It was a little bit of a pop of color without being too bold. The color she used is a MAC Dazzle Glass in the color Smile. So that is what the brush looks like. You guys have probably all seen these. So it may look more pinky than peachy on, and on camera, but if you go and look at it on the MAC website, it is a peachy, corally color, which looks fantastic. Um, so that is the stuff I got from MAC. I absolutely am in love with the palette I got, and I'm going to be working with it to see what different looks I can create. So I will leave all my links down below. I will see you guys next time. Bye!